This prayer is courtesy of the Lent and Easter Faith at Home resource from Pacific Mountain Region's First Third Ministry. We're just going to take a moment and light the Christ candle. And so if you want to get an adult or your mom and dad to come help you light a, light, light a candle, that would be great. And then once we light it, oh, hang on. Once we light it, we're going to just take a deep breath. I invite us into a time of prayer. Hi everybody, we're going to teach you a movement prayer today. And so the first time we do it through, we're going to hear this mysterious voice in the background that will guide you on what the movements um, are supposed to be and what to think about. And you'll see me doing the movements. And corresponding with that, there will be the words of the prayer. And then the second time through, we'll just say the words of the prayer and then the movements with it. So you can follow along with me in the movements. Let's have some fun. Words of the prayer. God is with me in darkness. The movement. Sit on your knees and fold your body down with arms stretched out in front of you or beside you. How dark can you make it? Can you close your eyes and take some deep breaths? Words of the prayer. God is with me in light. The movement. Come to sit on your knees with your arms out to the sides. Turn and twist gently as you open your eyes and look around. What can you see? Words of the prayer. I am like a seed who needs darkness and light to grow. Crouch low on your feet, then slowly begin to stand, growing up, up, up until you are fully standing with your arms stretched out to the sky. Stand on your tippy toes. Words of the prayer. I am joyful. Movement. Jump for joy. Words of the prayer. I am beloved. Movement. Take a rainbow with your body. Make, bring your hands next to one foot and make a big arch up and over your head down to the other foot, and then go in the opposite direction. Words of the prayer. I am peaceful and strong. Movement. Stand tall in mountain pose with your feet planted firmly and arms by your sides. With palms facing out, take some deep breaths in and out. Words of the prayer. I love myself and God loves me too. Movement. Give yourself a hug. Words of prayer. Amen. Movement. Shake it out. Jiggle your arms, legs, shoulders. Whatever feels good. God is with me in darkness. God is with me in light. I am like a seed who needs darkness and light to grow. I am joyful. I am beloved. I am peaceful and strong. I love myself and God loves me too. Amen. time passed since God created the world. People forgot about God, except for one man. His name was Noah. He loved and obeyed God.
I am very sad that people have forgotten about me. I am going to bring rain to flood the earth. Lots of rain. Noah, build yourself a huge boat of cypress wood. Noah did just what God said and made a big, big boat with lots of rooms. Noah was 600 years old when he entered the boat with his wife, their sons, and their sons' wives. God brought two of every kind of animal to the boat. Elephants and zebras, lions and tigers, pigs and giraffes, dogs and cats, deer and rhinos, bears and cows, horses and goats, lambs and monkeys all came two by two. All different kinds of animals, birds and creepy crawly things came to the boat. Then the door shut behind them. Inside the big boat, the lions roared, the dogs barked, and the birds chirped. It was stuffy and stinky. It was muggy and hot. On the outside, it rained and rained. It rained big, giant drops and little baby drops for 40 days and 40 nights. The rains came down and the floodwaters came up. The water splashed on the side of the big boat and pushed it up and down for 150 days. Finally, it rested on the top of a tall mountain. Noah waited and waited until God said to him, Come out of the boat, you and your wife, your sons and their wives. Noah's family and all of the animals came off of the boat. They put their feet on the dry land. They ran and skipped and jumped. They twirled and danced in the sunlight. They thanked God for the land and God blessed them. Noah's family grew and grew. The animals and the birds and the creepy collie things filled the earth again. God painted a rainbow of brilliant red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet across the sky and promised, Never again will water flood the earth. Whenever you see a rainbow in the clouds, I will see it too, and I will remember. Well, welcome to Craft Time. I'm so glad that you could join me for this very special craft today. I'm quite excited about it. You remember we are talking about Noah and we are looking at the story of Noah and how Noah built an ark. God asked Noah to build an ark and move all of the animals into the ark, two by two. And then the rains came, but the animals and Noah and his family were safe in the ark. And so today we are building a ark out of food. It's food art day. And so you'll need these supplies for your food art Noah picture. You'll need some syrup. You'll need a plate. Now it could be a regular plate or it could be a paper plate. I chose to use a paper plate because I had a nice big one that gave me a lot of room to build the ark and put the animals and clouds and stuff in. You'll need pretzel sticks. You'll need animal crackers if you have them. You'll need marshmallows and Fruit Loops or jelly beans would work as well. So why don't you gather your supplies, pause the video, and I will meet you at the craft table in just a minute. Well, welcome to the craft table. As I said, we're making food art today out of the Noah story. And so for that, I've got all my ingredients. You see, I've got my syrup right here. I put that in a bowl because I'm going to use this brush to spread it on. But you could also uh, put pour a tablespoon or a teaspoon in there and rub it around with a, a, plastic, a little plastic bag or some wax paper or something. That would work as well. And I've got my pretzels. That will be the shape of the boat. And my animals. And my marshmallows, which I'm going to use for clouds. And my Fruit Loops, which are going to be the rainbow. So let's get started, shall we? I'm just going to take some of the syrup and start to rub that around. So you want to use enough that things stick to it, but not so much that it's all runny and weird. Because you don't want that or else your, your little food art of the ark and the animals is going to move all over your plate, which 
might not work out so well. So you see I've got a lot of syrup there. The syrup is going to just help keep things in place. Now if you weren't worried about eating it, you could just use glue stick as well. But, I mean, it's food art, so I kind of want to eat it after. So I'm using syrup, because that would be edible. So we'll start building our boat. So for our boat, we're just going to use the pieces of pretzel to come along and make our shape. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, it's just a general outline that you want. Because you just want to bring it, give it enough shape that you can put your animals comfortably in there, depending on how many animals you want to put in there. I've got six. I'm not sure if they'll all fit in there, but we'll see. All right. And so I'm going to have my animals, and I have an elephant. So I'll put my elephant in and stick them down. And I have an ape. And I'll put my ape down. And I'm already running out of room on my ark. Thankfully, Noah didn't have that problem. And I'll put a tiger down. Maybe we could put the, the bear over here just waiting to get on the boat. And then a zebra as well making his way or her way to the boat. And then a camel. Uh, you can maybe put the camel in there because she's already sitting anyway. There we go. So we have four animals in our ark and two on the way to the ark. And so now we'll up in the sky, put our little cloud. And we can make maybe another little cloud. And I'm just using little marshmallows and they stick really well. And now we want our rainbow. So you can put as many in. If you don't have Fruit Loops at home, you could also use um, jelly beans as well. They would work perfectly for this and I'll keep all my colors together and there's my rainbow do you remember the rainbow is God's promise to us and we remember from last week that God's promises are available to all of us and there's our ark with our animals in it and our clouds and our rainbow Thanks for hanging out at the craft table today. I hope you enjoy making this craft, and I especially hope you enjoy eating this craft. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Shine.